So, you want to go see the world famous wild beast migration. One problem though, just where should you go? Kenya's Masai Mara or Tanzania's Serengeti? Before settling into one conclusion, there are several items you might want to consider first. Safari dates. The migration happens all year round in a clockwise direction between the two countries. Therefore, the month you choose for your safari will critically determine your choice of destination. During the months of July, August and September, you'll find the herds congregated in Amara, while for the rest of the year from October to June, they are only found in Tanzania's Serengeti. The experience. The wild beast migration is a wondrous spectacle, and the sheer experience differs from each country, and quite apparent. For adventure lovers and photographers, the best place to catch the action is Kenya's Masai Mara, since you'll see the sheer force of nature as predator and prey clash. The steep jumps make for a quite memorable moment as, lion, as lions usually wait on land and crocodiles on the river, and the open plains provide for very nice shots. While for the reserved ones who prefer a gentler and less graphic experience, I will recommend Tanzania's Serengeti. Car access. Serengeti only allows land cruisers to go into the park as it is the designated car of choice. Therefore, self-drive travelers with other car models are left out of the equation. On the Kenyan side, however, Mara allows for private cars, vans, and the humongous overland trucks. Word of advice though, keep on the good trucks and avoid muddy areas as chances of getting stuck are high in the rainy season, especially for private cars. Safari crowds. Safaris are meant to be full of blissful moments of serenity. Well, that isn't the case most of the time. Because if you don't know what park to visit, you can become bogged down with busy sightings, long queues, and noise pollution that doesn't allow you to experience nature in all of its serenity. The key to observing wildlife is to enjoy the exclusiveness of your sighting, especially if you're a photographer. Although the migration moves year-round, the majority of visitors who come to the parks do flock to wherever the migration happens to be. That means you have to contend with crowds at the Mara, since it's a three-month window for you to actually see them. If you do, however, want to see the migration but still avoid the crowds, then you can choose the southern and western Serengeti during the months of March to June to avoid the high season crowds. Budget. Making that trip requires a budget and depending on your reach, this is how the two countries differ. Let's take the park fees for example. This is the fee which each visitor has to pay for entry into the park. During the peak season in Serengeti, an adult non-resident will part with 82.6 US dollars per person per day, plus an additional 70.8 dollars concession fee. While in the Mara Triangle, an adult non-resident will pay 80 US dollars. Here is a comparison of camping fees. Masai Mara charges $30 for an adult, while Serengeti charges $35.4. So, looking at all these charts, Serengeti is much higher. So, which is the better country to see the migration? Well, after considering your safari date, experience, car access, crowds, and budget factor, I believe you may have come to a conclusion to which park works best for you as everyone has a different needs and expectation. Which one did you pick? Let us know in the comments. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social media channels.